Hello and welcome to another Art Fabula video. Today I'm going to talk to you how to survive in this artistry world. How you as an artist should think to make your dream a reality. So please come with me, I'm going to talk to you about this now. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and if you want to support me, if you want to support Art Fabula, please go to the website and to the Instagram account and look at the toys that I put there, um, buy some. Um, this is the only way to do if you want to support Art Fabula. So thank you very much, we continue with the video. Well, um, uh, to be an artist, if I'm honest with you, um, is a very difficult task. It's not an impossible task, but it's a very, very difficult task. I'm considered an artist because I do it artistic things, uh, but I'm not living as an artist. I'm not living of my work you see here. I have another job and this day job pays for my art and pays for this side business that I have, Art Fabula Things, this toy creation company that I'm making. For me, there is something very important that I need to think, that I need to complete before take the step to leave the day job and continue with this artistry part of me that I have here. And there are a few things that you, you also need to think about. Number one is to be passionately about the things you do. If you have your passion here in your art, in the things you do, in the things you like there, then the other steps are going to be easier. They are not going to be super easy. They are not going to be the easiest thing in the world, but it's going to be easier. Number two is to grow your business. You need to have an image. You need to have a name, you need to have a brand, you need to work with this brand, you need to put videos out there, you need to put Instagram's reels, you need to put photos on Instagram, on TikTok, everything. You need to show the world that you are here and this is my art. You need to show the world all of these things. If you don't do it, then you don't exist. And that is the reality of this world of today. Number three, is to think about if you can do these things with the support of your day job, if you have a day job. So you need to think about all the personal finances that you have. You, know, do you need to separate your private finances and the company finances, the brand, the business finances that you will need to make a living with your art. So you need to think about, do I have the money to start this company? Do I have the money to start this business? Yes or no? What do I need to start this company? If the answer is yes, of course, do it and begin there. Please don't leave your day job. Wait until you have some kind of a name and a brand is bigger or something like that. But uh, begin with these small things. So point number four is, take little steps and do big things. Don't try to make the biggest thing in the world, but take small steps that you with your finance, with your day job can supply. For example, if you do illustration, please just paint on a normal paper with a normal pen or something like that. You don't need to buy the best iPad or something like that or the best computer. Just do the best you can with the things you have and put videos, put, put a lot of videos and show. You don't need the best equipment to begin, but just begin. This is the most important thing. Number five, please continue making art. And this is something that it, everyone thinks about and, and of course this, this, is, this is important. But sometimes we put more time in these kind of things, in YouTube, in, on Instagram, trying to make a reel, something like that. We don't need that kind of big time investment. We need just to put your times in making our art. And in the meantime, when we are making the uh, toys, when we're making the illustrations, when we are making everything, then we can maybe take a picture of uh, the process and make, in, uh, make a video or something like that, explaining what we are doing. But the main focus is the art. Know yourself talking to a camera as I'm doing right now. Please show the process. This is the most important thing. Now I wanted to talk about the finance. This is something that sooner or later you need to think about it. 
is something that, well, I'm an artist, I don't need to think about. But if you want to live as an artist, this is something that you need to think about. And this is something that you, you cannot avoid. It's not the worst thing, but it's something that no everyone can achieve. Not in their private lives, not in the artist life. So the first thing that I wanted to say is that if you have a day job, put the money that you don't need on your business, on your brand. Don't put the food money on this because it's not going to work. And it's better that this thing takes three months instead of one, if that means that you can eat those three months. So don't put all your money to getting better gear or making this toy produce or something like that. You need to think about, I have this money for food and this money extra that I can put on my business. So think about, put only the extra money on your business. Then please don't take a loan, don't ask for money to the bank. This is the worst thing. If you are like me, a normal artist that I want to, well, do something with the art we do, then don't take a loan just save the money and then begin. It doesn't matter if it's going to take three, four, five, six months, one year, sooner or later it will come. Sooner or later you will get the money and you will begin with the process. For example, if we talk about the, the, these kind of things, the toys, the toy production, I have a lot of people contacted me about how to make vinyl toys. And then I recommend you don't need to begin with the vinyl toys. You can do everything with this thing here. That is, well, a 3D printer. You just need to create your art in 3D and then print it and then show it, show it to the world. And maybe if your work is good enough, it's going to sell and then you can take the next step that is producing in vinyl. And then you can choose what you want to do. do. Do you want it to do mass production in China or do you want to do it in smaller scale in Japan? That's, that's another story. But please do with the things you do. Don't take a loan. Make your growing slowly. You don't need to be fast. If you don't have a day job, then we are talking about something else. Then you need to put all your energy and then you're going to put all your effort in your art and try to show every day what you are capable of. But that is not the reason for this video. I'm talking about if you, well, if you can support your art um, with a little bit of money from your side job or from your spare time, spare extra job, something like that. But please be careful with your finances. Be careful with everything you do, with each step you're taking because maybe one day you will, you will find that this is, this is not sustainable. That day is going to be horrible. So please take my advice. Um, I have been there. I've done all these kind of wrong things. Um, and for me, I opened my eye when I, for me, there was a point where I began to think about all the steps I did, all the wrong things I have done in this business. Um, and uh, when I didn't have the money to produce more toys and when I didn't have the money to buy a better gear and when I did, didn't even have the money to, to send the toys to the people because I didn't have any toys to produce, to, to pay. That time was very hard and it opened my mind and opened my eyes and uh, well, uh, it wasn't a good time. But I take a step back and I began from the beginning. So please don't make the same error. I didn't have anybody to tell me those kind of things. So now I hope that you can accept my suggestions and don't do everything at the same time. Just take small steps. See your finances, see your possibilities and take small steps and make great things. That's all the point of this video. So thank you very much. I hope you see you soon. Bye. Bye.